Stellenbosch University has made an explicit choice to work with government, industry and communities towards the provision of adequate, safe and affordable water supplies for all of the water users in the region, nature and ecosystems included. A good water besparing plan focuses natuurlijk first on uh, the beginning that we don't have to worry about it, that we have to spare, and number two, that we don't have to worry Nou, zelfs al is hier die mechanismes volledig een plek um, in een Zuid-Afrikaanse omgeving, dan is ons in Zuid-Afrika nog steeds in een, in een situatie van waterdruk. Riparian vegetation is the narrow band of vegetation that is on the, uh, either side of a river and it interfaces with the river and the catchment, which is um, the surrounding catchment. We're particularly interested in understanding the structure and function and the ecology of these, this vegetation type, which is a very important vegetation type for a range of ecosystem services. One of the functions of rivier over plant growth and rivier over omgevings, where I specifiek specific navorsing doen is om to look at the filter action that the omgevings has in terms of besoedeling beheer. And I look for all at the structure and the function of organisms and the natural environment and how this actually that function verrig. And then further, I look for all the other plants and how they affect function affects. After invasion, one of the biggest challenges is to try and see if we could recover some of the plant species and the animal species that would have occurred along the river systems naturally, because those would generally be very disrupted by the invasion that occurred there. And so we have a problem where we have um, teams that are going into river systems and clearing the invasive vegetation but we have to understand how to recover the, the structure, the function and the species diversity afterwards. As food scientists we're involved in the supply of nutritious, wholesome and safe foods. In primary production as well as processing of food, water is an intrinsic part of all these processes. So a lot of our research work is done on the primary side as well as on the processing side. On the primary side, primary production our studies are mainly involved looking into uh, irrigation water and rivers that are being polluted. For this reason, we regularly sample river water as well as fresh produce being irrigated with that water. Our second area of water-related research looks at the processing environment, the amounts of water that are used during processing, and also the amounts of wastewater that are generated in those processes. We look at minimizing water use in the factory and also treating the wastewater generated in those food processing processes. And in the process of treating that wastewater, we generate methane, which is a valuable energy resource, thus turning waste into a valuable resource. The process here in the aanleg bevat the ultrafiltration component. One of the problems with ultrafiltration is, is that there is a lot of water that is generated by the concentrate. So, for every 100 liters of water that you get, you lose your 7 liters of water in concentrate, which is then used to be and not to go back to the oppervlak stroom. Nie. So, we have a process here on the vehicle where we have 100% water that is or 100 liters of water that is coming, 99% van gebruik is drink of filtreer is drinkwater en maar 1% is concentraat verloor. As chemische ingenieurs probeer ons focus op navorsing wat nuiverheidsgedrewe is. Ons kyk na grootskaalse waterherwinning en uh, my eie navorsing spesifiek uh, focus grotendeels op die gebruik van membrane in herwinning van water. Uh, ons het ook studente wat projekte uitvoer rondom die hantering en die manipulatie van antiskaal middels. Uh, in the concentrate of seawater of van ontsoutingsmembrane, specifiek om die totale herwinning van water oor hierdie membrane te verbeter. En die doel is om nie net water te herwin nie, maar water so probleemloos, effektief moontlik en teen maximum tempo te herwin. I've been looking at the effect of dense settlements and poor sanitation on our water, specifically our rivers. One of the major health consequences are happening at the moment. Um, we are in the midst of, of the, of the build-up to the diarrhea season and we do lose, notably children, we lose far too many kids per year and many of them are seriously ill and that means that it adds an enormous cost to the health services for what I would have termed 
potentially preventable disease. Many people in the developing world do not have access to treated water. They typically would get their water from a river system like the one here next to me. Uh, very often the water is polluted to the extent which it results in disease. So the basic uh, idea is to have a system which we call a point of view system uh, which basically takes the uh, treatment of water right down uh, to the individual level where people can, in a very inexpensive way, without having to buy bottled water uh, every time that they need potable water, that they can use this water uh, and bottle over and over again. And the only thing they have to do is to replace the very inexpensive filter which fits into the cap uh, of this bottle. South Africa is a water-stressed country and we have um, allocated almost 95% of our water sources for use already. Therefore we cannot afford to lose as many um, water sources as we do from pollution. And pollution is a very high risk, not only for the environment, but for people's health and for the economy. Focusing on the technology, socio-political conditions and values required to do this on a sustainable basis, the Water Institute has defined a research agenda that can improve and transform our practices and policies around water, bringing hope, dignity and security to vast numbers of the population who currently do not have sufficient access to water for basic hygiene, whose livelihoods are under threat because of prolonged droughts or the pollution of surface and groundwater, or suffer from waterborne diseases that can be easily prevented.